Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and this is the Unique City Grip. I'm going to tell you about it, and that's coming up right now on Videos by Andy. One of the more unique, and I don't know if this is a pun or not, but unique features of the unique Q500 4K is that it can be purchased in a package. This package includes just about everything you need to get flying, including a carrying case, I'm not saying it's the highest quality case, but at least it has one, as well as this device right here, which is they're calling the Steady Grip. Basically, it's a handheld stabilizer. Your camera and gimbal assembly simply slide off of your Q500 copter and slide into this. It's powered by eight batteries. Now, they're recommending nickel metal hydride rechargeables, but today I'm running alkalines. Didn't have any rechargeables in front of me for this, and it seems to be operating okay. Now, once you power it on, it's going to have the same Wi-Fi signal and you connect your smartphone to it. In this case, I'm using an iPhone 6 Plus and it connects right to it. So let's say you already know how to do that. You go into the settings and hook up. By the way, if you are having a problem connecting, make sure you have the right app. I accidentally, when I first started with this copter, downloaded the older app. Make sure you have the one that matches your copter and then it should be okay. Now, what this does it's a stabilizer. It pretty much has kind of a balancing mechanism in the gimbal. Now, why do you need this if you have a copter? Well, the thing is, your copter has spinning blades. There are going to be times and places where you don't want to be flying around. You might be around people. You might want to get some close-up shots. You might be around pets or a little bit too close to a building. You might want to go inside. That's what this is designed for. It's a nice way to take your, your outdoor copter, I know some people fly them inside, not me, and give you additional usage. Now, let's go in and take a look at this. We're going to do some picture-in-picture -picture subsets here. Now, I'm going to go on and turn on the recorder now. Now, let me tell you a little trick, and I learned this trick the hard way, but just like you would your copter. When you first turn this on, while it's stabilizing, do it on a flat surface. Give it a moment or two for the gimbal to go through its exercise and you'll have a better chance of getting a straighter horizon. Now, please note this camera. I have never connected the GUI, you know, the graphic inter interface. This is the way it came out of the box. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand out here perpendicular. We are at the default settings, the settings that it came out of the box at. It's a near 4K setting. It's 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second. And I'm just going to walk down. I'm not going to make any efforts to try to pad my footsteps or feather my, my gait. I'm just going to walk. And we're going down. The reason we're looking at the gate, so this way you can see the horizon. And it's not too bad. It's not perfect, but some of this can be straightened in editing. And then you come around. And let's go in and kind of do a little flyby here. So you, you get low to the ground, something. You could do it with your copter. But you can come around and you can get close to other objects closer than what you could get with a copter. Now, let's go in and change the settings around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to go into the settings by hitting the little diagram here in the lower right-hand corner. I'm waiting for it. There we are. We're going to go into the resolution. When you go through, there's a number of different resolutions, but there's a lot of features. And when you go to the 1920 by 1080, let's go in and go to 120 frames per second. Hit the settings back and then back again. Now look what happens. Okay, now look at the gate. Notice how much closer it is? Here, let's go in and do a comparison right here. This is at the 120 frames per second in 1080 mode. And this is at the 4K mode, or near 4K, I call it UHD, at 30 frames per second. Now, let's go back to the 120 frames per second and let's do a walk on it. I'm guessing that what it's doing is basically zooming in on its sensor and just using the center part of the image here. Now let's go in and come around. We'll do a little flyby here. Now we're going into the sun. I don't have the best light right here. Hey, look. Hi, camera. Let's come around. Let's go behind the camera. Let's get a shot that I probably wouldn't want to do with my copter. Let's come on and fly right over the camera. Whoa! That would have been a little bit too close for comfort. And then we'll come around. Down slow. Now, ooh, I'm, I'm moving a little bit too fast. Maybe you should have your movements a little you know, slower anytime you're doing it. Less is more. 
I'm gonna go on and stop this. Give it a chance, you know, anytime you stop and start, give it a moment to process. I'm gonna go into settings, waiting for it. Here we go, go to resolution. Let's go back to the default, which is 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second. Hit the settings back and then verify that it stayed on it. It did. And here we go again. This is back at the 4K setting. You see my shadow in there a little bit. But you come around here. It's just kind of an interesting device. And I guess to me, what's the most interesting thing about it is that it's included. I know there's other manufacturers out there, I guess I'll say DJI, who've been promising a handheld stabilizer for quite some time. That's one thing that attracted me to this copter. Now, it's not perfect. And it's, you know, when I have other reviews up on the copter and there's more coming. I have a lot of other features that I'd like to highlight for you. But this thing includes a lot. It's a great value. And if you're a first time flyer, read the instructions, go on to the site, watch videos, get to know it before you put up the first time. But this really, especially with its turtle mode, this allows everything to be flown in a kind of a slow motion. It's a great way to start. So that's it for the steady grip. For videos by Andy.com, I'm the gadget guru Andy Parr, and I'll see you online at In the Air.